What's up, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys the review for Love and Hip Hop uh, New York. I know I missed putting this up yesterday, but shit got hectic. So you're probably going to get this right before the other one airs, but that's all right. Um, but I'm not going to be here very long. I'm just finna breeze through the shit and breeze through talking about what I'm going to talk about. And we just going to go ahead and move the fuck on with our days. All right. Right quick. I will not do uh, CVJ and Jocelyn or Kevin Show from last week, but I'll just pick up from this week. Just make it easy on myself. So Bianca won the cypher. Good for her. Peter and Tyra. Fuck them. All right. Fuck them. Y'all already know how I feel about that. Remy and Papoose. His whole thing is... You know, he's going to do some things. He might need counseling, but at the same exact time, you know, even though he should he should give her room to breathe, you feel what I'm saying, and kind of like um, just make whatever mistakes or successes again she's going to make. But I think that he's just a little too invested. But again, I only see him, I guess, trying to be a good husband. But yeah, he might want to seek some help because it seems like he's still going through some trauma. Um, let me see who else. So Cardi B, Mariah, and uh, Bianca, pretty much they all just talk about what the fuck is going on in their life. Um, <clears throat> Cardi B whole thing is self still on that bitch shit, and I try to play uh the motherfucking music. She did say if she went to the cipher, you know she would uh you know cause the riot. I fucking believe her. Uh, Bianca really ain't had shit because she talked about the fucking cipher. Mariah Lynn whole thing is she was talking about her career. Now, just because I bought your song, okay, okay, but anyway, you know, dealing with that and the fact that her mom is about to um, go to jail because I highly doubt it's prison, you know, so pretty much mom's going to give birth and she's going to be stuck to deal with a child, this, that, and the third, and she don't know what she's going to do. I'm going to just leave it at that, but hey, it's one of those things where... Now, I don't even know how the fuck to feel about it. But my question is, is there no other family that could potentially take care of her uh, baby brother or sister? I don't know. But whatever. Call me Carlos. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, Remy and Ra, they pretty much just talked the shit out. And, you know, uh, Remy's whole thing is you need to talk to her and squash the shit. Because I can't have, you know, this wedding and everything. And neither one of y'all on board. Because it's looking like if y'all ain't on board, neither one of y'all ass is going to be there. Okay. <laughs> reading these damn comments y'all um yandy and mindy says look i ain't been talking about this shit but the motherfucker got sentenced and he want the kids uh baby you know the kids are uh, mothers to get together to talk we gonna see how that go bbod i mean really what else can we say the photo shoot was uh decent <clears throat> not the photo shoot the music video was decent they both look you know pretty i i don't know what the fuck was up with mo when i was like hey whoo Ha! I, 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 I don't know what that... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Definitely trying to fuck again. Don't do that shit no more. Uh, let me see. Remy and Yandy. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Remy? Wait, Remy and Yandy? Yeah. Um, the only thing I'm talking about is she... Uh, Yandy's put, trying to pull that whole... Oh, he's uh, suffering or dealing with shit that he did back in his youth. No, no, you're not gonna sit here and try to pay him to be anything other than, and let's keep this shit 1,000. Word on the curb is, he not going to jail because he was pushing some shit. He going to jail because he was trying to push up on some shit that is underage. But that's not here nor there. I'm just saying, that's where on the curb. But don't say and try to make it seem as if this shit happened way back when. No, it ain't way back when, boo-boo. It ain't way back when. Yandy and Tyra, all I'm gonna say is this, y'all know I'm be here for Yandy, but Yandy got that ass together and pretty much did what a friend should do, and that is for I really hate to say it, but she read the fuck out of um out of uh Tyra and pretty much uh, let her ass know like so you happy with this, but you done fucked a married man, now you never got pregnant this and the third. So one of the few times I'm probably gonna say I was actually here for Yandy. Cardi B and Cell, Cardi B whole thing is, look, I'm loyal and you not doing right by me. You know, I, I've been helping you, you ain't helping me, but I, I go hard for those who fucks with me and I expect that shit in return. And everybody is saying how she should just give him <clears throat> a flash drive with the music that she should, but at the same exact time, if she has been going out of her way to help him, the least he could do is go out of his way to listen to this music. So he on that fuck shit. But again, that seems it, it seemed partially contrived to me. Uh, Yandy and Rock, 
nothing really to say. They gonna uh, be um, how can I say uh, cordial towards each other. But if y'all caught it, Rim not Remy, uh, Rashida was clocking the fuck out of Yandy. I hope y'all caught it because she backed up to the point where it's just like you know, let's just go back to the party because she knew she ain't had shit. So I was here for that. And with the baby mama drama, I don't know how the fuck to feel about that, though, y'all. I really don't. And it's only because part of that shit seems so fucking set up. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's... I don't know. Because I really do feel that if Kim really wanted to, Kim would have got to Judy. So I'm really not feeling that. What I will say, though, is... I ain't here for the motherfucking hands on women and shit, but what the fuck? Now, my mama can fight her own damn battles. But what the fuck you not gonna do? You not finna disrespect her in front of me. You not finna fucking do that. Not period. I don't give a fuck who you is. You ain't finna dis... The only person I will probably let do that would be her parents, but God rest so they ain't here, so we ain't gotta worry about that motherfucking what if. But that shit wouldn't happen. I... It, okay. Okay. But that's all that I have, you guys. Like I said, I'm not finna sit here, boy, with the motherfucking detail because the episode really didn't give me shit, and many people have done reviews. I just wanted to at least stay true and give y'all this. So, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see y'all back here. It's what seven, uh, seventeen right now. So I will see y'all back here in roughly forty minutes. By the time y'all get this, it'll be late. But y'all know what I mean for uh, the uh, next episode of uh, Love Hip Hop. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.